Song Country. This is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Home. Here in this place, new light is streaming. Now is the darkness vanished away. Our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. With Let's once again implore God's love and mercy on ourselves and the whole world that there might be peace and love everywhere. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendour of the Father, Lord Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. (coughs) And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom he has taken by his right hand to subdue nations before him and strip the loins of kings to force gateways before him that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of my servant Jacob of Israel, my chosen one, that I have called you by name, conferring a title though you do not know me. I am the Lord unrivaled. There is no other God besides me. Though you do not know me, I arm you that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun that apart from me, all is nothing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honour. Give the Lord glory and honour. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Give the Lord glory and honour. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are naught. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honour. Give the Lord your families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honour. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Give the Lord glory and honour. A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus and Timothy, to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, 
wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always mention you in our prayers and thank God for you all and constantly remember before God our Father how you have shown your faith in action, worked for love and persevered through hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers, that God loves you and that you have been chosen. Because when we brought the good news to you, it came to you not only as words, but as power and as the Holy Spirit and as utter conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Shine, Shine on the world, world like bright stars. stars. You, you are, are offering, offering it the word of life. life. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus and what he said. And they sent their disciples to him, together with the Hedonians, to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way, and that you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you. Tell us your opinion. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites, why do you set this trap for me? Let me see the money you pay taxes with. They handed him a denarius and said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they replied. Then he said to them, very well, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There were two things that were very important to my father. I remember them well. He was in the Australian Armed Forces during the Second World War and was on the Kokoda Trail and continued in the army up to for about 18 years, having joined in 1939. It was a very important part of his life and his loyalty to Australia, his commitment to the law of our country was a very important part of him, which he tried to instill in his son, just for him, just to see the flag was a significant thing, that kind of loyalty to, to the country in which he was born was so significant. The other part that I recognised in my father was something which emerged very strongly about the time that I was joining the Carmelites, because he had a great concern that if I joined a religious group, would I still carry out the obligations of filial piety, which is part of Chinese culture? Would you still be here to look after me? And when I die, would you look after your mother? These things were very important to him. Loyalty to his country and commitment to family. And when I joined the Carmelites, he was, had just a simple concern that these two commitments would still be part of his son's life. I hope they were, and I hope they continue to be. In today's gospel, Jesus is presented with a test. They're trying to trap him, and to do this, they ask a question which could cause a riot amongst his listeners. Are we allowed to pay tax to Caesar, an unjust demand made upon the Jewish people. And Jesus' answer is very simple. There should be no conflict between the demands of the state, the demands of family, and the demands of God. They must be able to live together. 
Yes, you will say to me, there have been times when they haven't lived well together, as would have happened in Nazi Germany and so many other places where the demands of the government were contrary to religion. But these are in fact very rare occurrences and we are all called to do what our country asks us to do. We are all called to live in accordance with what our religion asks us to do. And we hope and pray that there is no conflict. If there is conflict, it's the role of religion to speak with government, to try to ensure that the laws and the demands of government are in fact just and in accord with what God asks. And I, for one, as I stand here, can't, don't see why they cannot coexist together. And therefore, in a country like Australia, and in most just countries, the demands of church and the demands of state should not be in conflict. And, and the dutiful citizen is called to follow both. And the believing person who following their faith is also called to follow both. We do not belong to the Catholic Church in such a way that it relieves us of what we're asked from our government and our own people. But we do have a place. We are called to be 11 because we as Catholics should have a role to play in the societal thinking and the way government works. It's important that each of us in fact, contributes to the life of a democracy, that each of us is involved, not in an unthinking way, because in this aspect, another part of what Jesus teaches us is there. To what can I compare the kingdom of God, he says? It's like the leaven that a woman kneads into the dough to make it rise. The church must also always be a leaven in society, to give life to society. And when the church does that, there should never be conflict. When the church does that, society and God live hand in hand as friends together. And let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As loyal citizens and faithful members of the Church, let us bring our prayers to God our Father. For synod members, that they listen carefully to each other and discern the deep truth of the Spirit's promptings. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of the Church to not only see more, but to be more of the future you call us to become. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations who are entrusted with what belongs to Caesar. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For a sense of social responsibility as citizens, voters and taxpayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St. Mary of the Cross. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who have passed through death towards the eternal city. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <coughs> Grant us Lord we pray a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, <coughs> Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, Amen. thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, 
we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And my mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is in the of peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Speak.